Stacy with As The Tea Brews and today I want to do another tea we drink in a day video. We just haven't been drinking a lot of tea lately. Um, I really like tea when it's cold outside but we decided to get a second little puppy um, to add to our first one and so it's been a little bit of a crazy ride. Um, we've had Violet now for maybe seven weeks and then we got Winston just a week ago and so um, it took them some time to learn how to play together um, but right now they're playing kind of rough and it seems like they don't love each other but they really have been very good together the last few days but the first few days were really rough um, and I'm having to take him out uh, at all hours of the night and um, so the sleep has been minimal it's been hard to have time to wash dishes, let alone make a cup of tea, and so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to attempt to drink some tea today because my tea advent calendar has been just piling up. I haven't been drinking that, I haven't been drinking my other teas, and so um, we're going to see how much tea I can get in today. But first let me show you these little, um, these little schnauzers. <laughs> So this is Winston and he is nine weeks old now and he's a miniature schnauzer and um, he has pretty blue eyes and we liked his coloring a lot. Violet, come. Come here. Sit. Violet, sit. Good girl. Good girl. Winston, do you want a treat too? You have to show me. Okay, look. Winston. Winston, sit. Oh, good boy. Good boy. They love, I have some boiled chicken and give them little tiny pieces and they love that. So these guys have been taking up all my time. Um, so I'm gonna take Violet out and then um, I'll be back to see what kind of tea I'm going to make. So <clears throat> I had to take um, Violet's uh, stool to the vet because um, I'm taking her to a class next week and they need a fecal sample um, test or a fecal test, um, which is really gross. But anyway, and then my son called me and he has a headache. And so he had a headache and he wanted to come home from school and um, anyway. So I'm back and it's been a little over an hour since I um, decided I was first going to make tea and I still haven't made any. So um, this is peppermint cream from Bird and Blend and uh, this is a oolong and it is, let me see if I can focus on here, it says that it's the Guanzu milk oolong, it's not focusing, with peppermint and cocoa shells and um, I really, really like this tea. Uh, I have this mug from, I don't know, a couple years ago from David's Tea. I think this is one of my favorites to use like during December and January um, with kind of the Christmas winter scene on it. And I love the mugs that I can see the tea through, the clear ones. So I am going to enjoy this tea while I try and catch up on some work on my computer. And uh, I will be back later if I can make some more tea. Okay, so I've been trying to work on paying some bills and now I'm starting to sort through photos. I got a new phone and so my husband got all the pictures from my phone onto my computer but it created doubles and different formats. And anyway, I'm just trying to sort through it all so I can order um, a photo book for the last couple of years. Um, meanwhile, I want a little caffeine pick-me-up. I'm going to have this candy cane crush tea from David's Tea. Um, I've had this in the past, and the first time I had it a couple years ago, I wasn't in love with it. And then last year, we got a bag, and um, I liked it more. Um, it definitely has a huge, like, almost cult following because people love it so much. Um, I like it. I don't drink a lot of black tea. I do like that it's nice and strong um, with peppermint flavor. Uh, but I'm going to make it into a latte today, and I'm actually going to start my Verissimo right now. I forgot to start that. Um, and so my son is home, he um, wasn't feeling very well, and so he um, requested some hot chocolate. I asked if he wanted tea, but he said hot chocolate. <laughs> um, so I frothed his milk because I can froth a lot more on our uh, Breville espresso machine milk frother. And so I did that, hopefully this is chocolatey enough. If not, I can add a little bit more chocolate for him. Actually, maybe I'll taste it real quick and see. Okay, I think that that's good. Joshua, do you like whipped cream? Um, yeah. Okay, so I have a hot chocolate for him, and I'm going to finish making my candy cane crush latte, and I'll show you that in a minute. 
Okay, so um, I put my candy cane crush tea in the bottom of this Nordic mug that I was using earlier. Um, I figured, why waste another mug? So I just rinsed it out um, from the peppermint cream and I am making this. This mug is half foam. <laughs> um, this little Verissimo frother froths so well. Um, and they, I think it's an old model. They don't even make it anymore. I think I looked it up. And I added a little bit of whipped cream and chocolate syrup because um, it's out and I thought, why not? Hopefully it tastes good and it's not too sweet. Um, if I don't like it, I guess I'll be making something else. So Abby just got home from school and she decided, she saw my, my latte, maybe. Is that what you... Um, no, I actually just, we talked about doing tea yesterday because I have a bunch of homework to do. So I wanted something to sip on while I do homework. Oh, so she's going to work on homework and what kind of um, tea are you having? I'm having a gingerbread latte and I think, do we have eggnog? We do not. Do not? Okay. Then I'll just do a milk latte. Okay, so gingerbread from David's tea. Because it's Christmas time, like, might as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, I know, this what tea particularly is really good with eggnog as a latte, mm -hmm. but we are out. Um, maybe yeah. I'll grab some at the store. But, alright. So we're settling in for the evening. Kids are in bed. Most of them are asleep. Um, at least two out of the three. And we are just going to have some lay digestive and a small bowl of popcorn and maybe watch a show. And that is our tea for the day. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I didn't get to have quite as much tea as I had hoped, but it's been a busy day. These puppies and the kids keep me on my toes. We'll see you next time. Bye.